Good that I can test those now. No, I don't want to trash talk whoever made this, alright? So whoever made this, thanks for making a build in the first place. It's important for me to know this, that I appreciate this. Hello everybody, my name is Aftermath and welcome back to Legion Tower Defense. You know, I said we are going to do two videos for the two builders that are on the PTR, a uh, public test server, public test realm. But I wanted to like spread them out a bit and I thought I'm going to record Dead by Daylight today. Till I got news that tomorrow a new killer release was like, dude... Damn. Why? No, I can't do this. Let's do this one again. So, we're going to take Skeleton King, aka the Assassin Builder, and we're going to play with Assassins. Now, let's look at the units very closely. What do we have? We have Frenzy. Increases fighting powers of all units under Cleric's Command. Okay. Five runs cooldown. I don't know why this is important, but it seems so. We have Zealot Scarabs. We have Mind Stealer. And they got buffed. So, I'm just going to put down one of those Scarabs. See how fast they upgrade. Okay, I can't upgrade it instantly. This looks weird. Doesn't matter. Let's let's try with one of the mind stealer. All right, the Zealous Scarab's ability is Quill Spray. All right, that that works. That works. Yeah, that works. But wasn't this ability more like Beetle Swarm? I guess it's just renamed. Hinder is apparently movement speed debuff or so. Well. I guess that's totally fine. That's all we can do for round one, so let's just spend the money on sending stuff, and here we go. There's the first wave. They're all getting hindered, and the Scarab just sits there, without attack animation, just doing mild AoE damage to everything, but nothing. Okay, that didn't work. Let's start. Let's try this again. I have a better idea, right? So, so the Mindbender is kind of shitty. <laughs> Alright, we got it. So let's, let's try something that I... I, I thought was very apparent when we um, when we when we played the other builder, the necro builder, the undead builder. That we had a lot of AOE clear. Let's try it similarly. I have a bad idea. Right. So, one scarab, twenty gold. Upgrade hundred gold. Easy solution. Place five. Should be possible. The mind bender didn't do shit, so I guess that's totally what's supposed to happen. I have to wait twenty seconds. Why? I'm alone in the lobby. <sighs> Alright, whatever. It's not like I care. <laughs> I have the 10 seconds, you don't. That's interesting. I, actually, I don't have the five, um, five, the 10 seconds. Now 4, now 3, now 2, now 1. Because the thing is, after 5 minutes, your most of the people's attention span kind of drops. It's kind of stupid. I want to say your attention span drops, but you end up being the guy that watches me the most, and this is no longer true. Um, so I'm, I'm just not going to, like, uh, say that. Instead, I'm just going to place down some fucking scarabs. For the base of space in between. Just so they don't block each other. I know we skip. Alright, Scarabs. This time, it stacks, right? Does it stack a singular instance? Yes, alright. Here we go. That's that's what I wanted. Perfect. Oh my god. I already figured out what the builder is trying to do. He's just going to spam Scarabs. It's going to be enough to wave like 25, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Ah, Jesus Christ. What is bit balancing? Let's upgrade one of them, and Snot Spray and Spike Carapress, that makes no sense. What does the next one? Spike Carapress and Quill Spray. So the Alpha Predator, the last upgrade, actually does Quill Spray again. This guy is just slow and attacks fast. Uh, hard, not fast. So, why? Why is this guy so much slower? Like, anybody mind explaining that to me? That makes no sense. Why is this movement speed so much slower? What? What? I don't get it. That makes very little sense to it. Why does the abilities not work? I mean, sometimes they do. Sometimes they just simply don't. That's weird. Not a problem so far. All right. No matter. Let's continue. Use your abilities more, please. Uh, I ha I guess I have a wide sensation of feeling as to why this happens. Let's try to rearrange it a little bit. Let's let's lose some money on purpose. I have better idea. All right, let's let's build a little bit of a of, of this. Yes, formation. It's all about formation. As you can see, I now have food problems. So let's upgrade before we actually get food problems and upgrade echo. Because last time I didn't echo. It was kind of shitty. All right, so now where they are all stacked, the yeah. Wow, all right, all right, it's pretty easy, guys. It's it's easy, we, we got this. Oh, wow. Yeah, if you can't even for one second attack, I'm pretty sure you're not going to win either. All right, let's continue the charade. It's pretty fun. 
Oh, and some explosions going off, killing everything. Quite frankly, it's boring. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, let's let's put up down more scarabs because the scarabs slowly but steadily are not alone enough to keep killing everything. Um, you went out of sync. And this one, okay. This one, and maybe this one. Alright, now we are definitely fucked when it comes to food. But now we have two waves of scarabs, one being body blocked. So that's a tactic you can play, you can just body block each other. Why you would do that though, I have no idea. Look at how much the waves are still exploding, it's kind of weird. Still, this is how it goes. Um, add XP bonus might be important, I'm gonna pop it for the boss. Which probably makes the boss a little bit fucking easy. Alright, here we go. Alright then, let's do it. Yeah, here's- they need two hits per scarab. Oh, I had to wait till they swarmed him to make this work. Not that it matters. I don't think I can actually kill a boss like this, but who cares about one boss? If, uh, so far, everything was kinda, kinda weird, so to speak, you know? Like, you get what I mean, you dick? Alright, who cares about one boss, what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's just continue the way we did so far. That's weird. I don't see a reason to do anything else, but we're gonna get one of those Lotus, they seem sexy. Why is the spinning during boss waves? Wasn't that dis disabled? I don't remember. Oh no, it was during duels. Whatever. Alright, Radiant King. You you can kill it. I'm sorry. Should upgrade you a bit, but I didn't. So you're doing like three hits per hundred. He does like two hits per hundred. So it should, should mathematically not kill you yet. Okay. But so far this was kind of streamlined and easy. I'm sorry, but my acro is actually kind of good even though I like the boss. Should probably focus a bit on, you know, not leaking and get some units going. Alright, what else is there to do? There's a duel. I do how to win that. Alright, let's start the next wave. Let's skip ahead. Yeah, it just melts again. Alright, boys, we found us we found our tactics. What the hell is this? Is this like next level spider builder? What? Let's upgrade to this guy, who quilt sprays to Momento, but you don't close- What? What? <laughs> alright, so everything melts, alright, except the guy that, you know, should be in the front- BAM! Here we go! Woohoo! Boys, what are other units? I don't know. Welcome to one unit manifesto. Alright, this might be a bit hard, never mind. Quilt spray is kinda stupid. Gotta admit. So he has Memento, which is basically a quilt spray on crack. So he's going to explode everything. Never mind, he has a bike carapace too, he can't die, literally. What is this? Why does it exist? Who came up with this? Sincere question now. Look at my echo, look at my inability to do anything. Look at me having spammed a few units tops. It's kind of weird. Alright, doesn't matter. Let's continue building an unbelievably large army. Like, I believe I can just spam this unit and win, to be honest. Like, look at the Abaddons. This wave too. Everyone proc now. Okay, that's kind of shitty. But in five seconds, uh, now, they just die. They just die. And they still have the momentum to finish off to make sure they die. In case, you know, there was any question about that. Questionable. Alright, let's get one of those Lotus. Here, she has Psyblades, so she's also going to do a lot of AoE for no reason. Let's enjoy that. Never mind, first Enchantresses. Since I have a lot of AoE damage, they just go down. Alright, um... It's getting boring. To be fair. Alright. Let's skip ahead and see what happens if I just don't do anything. We are fighting Techies next, okay. Oh, the Memento actually just instantly killed all the Techies. Works for me. Anyway, let's upgrade the Echo, because that's all we need to do in this to win. Our Echo is now off the charts, we are at 17 and I am... Uh, and, and, and everything just dies. Why? I, I, I don't honestly see the reasoning for this. Like, this is weird. Should not be possible the way it is, but is. It's a little bit, like, the, the problem is this can't stack, like, unlimited times, apparently. Which is weird. I don't like it. So the thing is just, I have those two big bugs. If they actually almost die, Momento will just 
Like, this one is exploding now. Never mind, I have one of those side blades that just straight out went through everything. No reason. Because it can. Just because it can. That's that's why. Alright then. It's not like I care. Next one's Blood Suka Wave. They're gonna get Quill Spray? Where's the Quill Sprays, boys? Quill Spray. Alright, never mind. That didn't work. But here's the double momento coming off killing the fucking wave. Alright, so get this. That means, right, the math is very simple. If I get two more mementos, this should carry me through the entire game. No need for getting units. Like, let's get one more memento. Right, skip. Take... Okay, of course with this tactic, right, I there's, there's literally zero chance that I'll be tanking the last wave. But who cares? Look at my echo. This is unheard of strong right now. Okay, memento. Kinda... Bam, he stuns himself. Bam! It doesn't, doesn't work here, but doesn't matter because he also died. I, I didn't even use the ability. I That's the weird thing. I didn't use the ability. Like, if I would have used it, there would have no be contest, right? Okay, it really doesn't matter. Let's skip out. We have a lot of income right now. Let's just cap on Echo. And everybody dies. Everybody just dies. Like, even if they would go down now, which they clearly don't because they have a lot of life points and armor, then who gives a shit? Like, they don't give a shit. They don't. They don't give a shit. Not about you, not about everybody. That's why they don't give a shit. It's, they, they are no give a shit box. Zero giving shits. Like, damn son, non shits. Non shits are obtained. Alright, look at the. Those guys will explode. Bam, here we go. First one explodes, second one explodes. Two one, two one down, and everything died. Why, why do I even upgrade units? Like, I could just, you know, upgrade everybody to this and I would play reverse techies. Okay, the Kunkka wave could have been kind of disgusting, but ended up not being disgusting. So, what are we doing here? Like, I feel something isn't going right. Let's just spam myself with units, alright. This one's not on f Timekeeper. Chaos Strike, what is Augment Aura? Attack damage bonus and Psy Blades. So, it's just another ranged unit on crack. Who designed this? Who designed the two builders that don't work for shit and just are too strong? And more importantly, why- Those Psyblade procs! What is wrong? Oh god, the Psyblades are just so devastating. Alright, that was close. Now I may need to build a few units. Let's build a Jester. Not a Jester. Actually, that's not. Let's just upgrade. This. And just skip ahead and see where this is going. Now the tiny wave apparently did some damage, yo, so everybody explodes and, and now we'll probably leak, never mind, almost, like almost even killed this. Ooh, wow, it took 25 waves to break my basic unit spam, damn son. Oh, I should have upgraded attack damage I feel. And I have almost nothing left, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to commit whatever resources I could still muster to the attack damage upgrades and one hit. Uh, three hits, all right, sure. One hit, oh, two hits, never mind. Two hits, oh, it's two hits. All right, we have 500 now, let's just upgrade just Trickster. Hmm, Stealth Assassin, Blood Drinker, what's Blood Drinker? Blood Rage, Sorrent, or Genada, Mortal Strike. Okay, it looks like shit, actually, I'm just not gonna bother. Not with that unit. Let's, let's get Creep Shadow. Fuck that device. It's, oh, it's just crit. Yeah, it's literally crit, it's crit, a lot of crit. Let's get one of the useless units. Upgrade him. Maybe he's less useless. No food. Or, never mind. Let's upgrade food. Upgrade it. It's this. Disquilibrate. Um, armor. Removes armor. Weakens people. Silent champion. Mind slicer. It's pretentious. Everything. Just pretentious. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, look. It's still working. This good design, brother. Good design. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making fun of it pretending that I could do better, but here's the thing I'd probably never design in that way in the first place because I know this is the result of it Okay, silent champion looks pretty neat. It's just crevelous. All right, let's just continue pulling up the other one Silent champion no money for that. Actually, let's just get rid of one of those because they're expendable Okay, great skip Oh, it's the three Krabbelos rounds. They should do some damage. I might don't even get there before... Oh, never mind. You know, that was too easy. Why even bother? 
Why even bother sending rays in my direction? Next one is Grand Margus. 28 waved. You got everything once. Could max out Echo now, but honestly, like, who gives a shit? We already have income of 300. We wouldn't need to max Echo any further. Literally. Because here's the thing, right? I could just do this and queue this up a few times. It's going to precisely just run out now. Here we go, no more food. And now what, you know what I can do next? Yeah? I could just do, um, mm, something along the lines of this. Oh, okay. Look, look at me. Look at me being good at this game. Never mind. First of all, we're gonna send some into the death. All right. Nice de de taking debuff. Nice. If the krill sprays would actually work as intended, I don't think I need to explain how seriously broken this would be. Like, just think about that for a second. If they actually would work as intended, right? Now I can't. I can't say the timekeeper isn't absolutely broken too. It's doing a lot of damage. Yo. Um, Lotus was it, yes. I don't often have this kind- Yeah, look, 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 look at how fast this goes! They will explode the monsters now, unless they one-shot, which they don't, and everything just dies. It's like, not even questions, it's like, just happens. Good job. Not a timekeeper, like, whoa. It's last boss. Look at him. He just stuns himself, and then... Gets raped. The last boss has always been a kind of weakling. Oh, oh! He leaked! Ah! Well, that is unfortunate. Look again. I know one thing for sure, certain, right? And I'm not going to hide it. Last wave. OP guy at the end. This shit's not gonna work. But did you just realize what I haven't done? Like, uh, what? Like, the stacking is a bit stupid, don't you think? It's just my opinion, though. Like, who knows? Maybe. I mean, look at this. I, I know it's not gonna work because this tactic is based on the fact that they get close, which they do, but then instantly die. And whatever is left will literally just die because of, you know, explosions. But that's, of course, not going to work for longer than maybe two rounds. Let's see. The worst round is probably just already going to finish it anyway. Here we go. So, yeah, second round is pretty much finishing this off. All those bolts, even if they will die, all those bolts will just kill whatever's left of my forces. Here we go. Second wave, OP guy at the end leaks. Here we go. I'm not saying... I'm not saying this builder is overpowered. I'm saying this is stupid. Because what I just did was the equivalent to spamming a spearman, except that the spearman is more expensive. And less strong, because spearman can't deal with this amount of enemies in this short time. You build five fucking scarabs. And that carries you to wave nine. Just by the just by having explosions, like think about it. I, I'm not saying you get the bosses down, but if you take five scarabs, it's hundred gold, and you add everything else together, you get that's 400 gold to the boss. You have 400 gold echo till the boss one. It's pretty strong. It's like 400 gain. Stupid, is it? Pretty neat. I like it, but I think it needs work. I think it's kind of broken. Good that I can test those now. No, I don't want to trash talk whoever made this, alright? So whoever made this, thanks for making a build in the first place. It's important for me to know this, that I appreciate this. But, let's not argue. Should have probably kept a few of those things. Or maybe made them not stacking. I just me, but the stacking actually kind of ruins it. I mean, it's kept on 8. It's 80 damage per explosion. But if you have 16 explosions, then you have... 20 damage, 30 damage, 40 damage, 60 damage, 80 damage, 90 damage, and that's where you have 8 more explosions with 90 damage. Now, in Legion Tower Defense, all mobs merely have more than 500 life points. So if you have 8, which is the cap, it's already too much, because that's enough to kill most of the enemies. But if you have 16 explosions on max stacks, and that's 320 gold, then you are probably going to one-shot quite a few waves. And if they are not one-shot, they are at least very close to dying. Now, if you upgrade... Four out of the 16 to the latest version that explodes upon death. It's pretty stupid because that will certainly finish everything else off. It's just me saying this though. Like, I think it would have been more smarter if I would have put all the scarabs behind the big ones. Big ones run in, everything stuns each other, small scarabs come, everything explodes. <laughs> everything explodes. Nice bit after my fans, see you guys next time.